frame is a, like a, the content is like the framework of your product design. The framework of your product design, like a, okay, maybe for education. So the content is going to be about the education, the uh, mathematics, physics, circuits, programming, or whatever the framework may be. Uh, the context may be a healthcare. So it's about the, uh, to decide the apps that they take, how to exercise properly or how to eat properly or even how to, how to measure your calorie each day in order to control your weight. If you would like to lose weight or if, if you would like to, to gain more weight, maybe uh, it's a concern about any healthcare or medical stuff. Uh, next one is maybe financials. A lot of people really love to trade stock, uh, looking for what kind, uh, how much the stock changed, to uh, how much the uh, bond or even Bitcoin or even uh, 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 digital crypto, uh, crypto currency or whatever. Is this a financial aspect? context so the, the the context is the framework that you you're gonna focus on your product design that's why you need to understand user experience in terms of uh, the context that they're gonna use your product or the context that your product gonna develop for them to use so the issue that you you must understand around the app uh, uh, the people activity, analysis and then the context is where is the interactions occurs why is the interaction occurs like uh, in in inside the mobile phone outdoor indoor in the office like a physical context physical context is this mean space this space like uh, in office, it's gonna be in office, or maybe on move. On the move, it means you drive car, or even you on BTS. You may be in in the way that you commute to somewhere else. So it means that maybe. Why you need to do that? Uh, why you need to know that? That's why you might think about they need really need Wi-Fi or even even they need cellular cellular network because uh, people use your product on the move. Maybe they need uh, uh, not only uh, may, uh, 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 not only Wi-Fi itself. Maybe they need the cellular. They need the cellular. But if they are in office, they might need the, the Wi-Fi in office or even the ambient of the space, ambient. Ambient of the space is mean the darkness, the brightness, the noise. People really love to work at night because you feel it's so concentrations because you guys uh, can can focus on your work it's very silent but sometimes people really love to work in coffee shop because you really love ambient noise you or even the smell of the coffee so this is the characteristic of the people and even the context of uh, 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 the uh, the context of your product you may think about the product itself uh, should be used in which context and uh, the next thing is social context the first thing is this a space a physical space the location that used the the product the second thing is the social context is in term of work as a group or individual activities because some applications like you, as I mentioned that 
the context of the games. You might challenge yourself. You can play one person or maybe you can do five person or maybe unlimited. The same thing if you uh, have a, like a personal challenge applications to save money, for example, you might have a context of individual activity that you have self-discipline software or uh, self uh when you play like individual it's like a whatever that based on one cell based on one cell one user or group activities or some activity you really need computer mediate like a uh, uh like you play uh, e-sport or you have a computer like a computer uh, uh like a uh mediation, like a computer as a tools to do things together or e-learn e-sport no? or even e-learning as a group learning that you need you need something that have a computer mediate and also the social context as a social norm social norm is this what is the manner of the social you should when you when you play social media, you should use the uh, the word that is very polite words. For example, is this a norm of the social norm? And the next one is uh, the psychological context. The motivations to use your product or motivation of them to engage with your product. The attitude, is this about the the mindset. This is the mindset of people who are gonna use your product. They are, uh, what's kind of the context that you use and the cognitive. Is this uh, about the memory, about the brain? Uh, is this all uh, the cognitive? Their memory, huh? brain, all those contexts should concern this thing, the level of arousal, like a challenge or um, uh, make oneself to, to step forward. It's just aroused. Okay. Those are the issue of the context. And then come with the technology that you're gonna uh, adopt or decide for those people that you analyze. Mm -hmm. those people that you analyze, those uh, activity that you found, the characteristic that uh, they might uh, really love to do, focus on which activity or your product gonna focus on which activity and in which context. And then what kind of technology that you're gonna deploy to your product. I said in quite broad term like product, product would be web, would be app, could be soft generic software product, it could be hardware product, it could be appliance or to our equipments. I don't know. I just uh, in I, I use the broader term of the product. When you develop something, you you will uh focus later on this kind of product. But anyway, uh, you need to think about the technology. What how to to do to get data input? Is this how you get those data? How you get those data in? Like uh, for example, Facebook, you have a uh, 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 not face, uh, you have face, face, face ID, you have a touch ID, you have readiness. Is this like biological input? You get input by biological input by your face ID, you have touch ID. Or even retina from your eyes, retina ID. 
or the input is key in just key in you uh, even you can use like a stylus pen to do it or how you get the data and in order to get that, that data you need to think about the security that concern the data the face id the biological develop along those few years because of um, the software product or, or the mobile mobile uh, or smartphone product they're really serious about the owners of the users so the the identity of the user that's why they use the face id or or, or touch id like a fingerprint touch id is a fingerprint now. like a fingerprint like you know, uh, to, to identify uh, your identity. But somehow if you use, for example, the new ASX, you need to log in with your email that email is should be belong to KMUTT email. Otherwise you cannot go to uh, who to new ASX to register to some subject or even uh, LEB2, they really need you to log in with your student ID and uh, uh, email that you get from the computer center of KMUTT. Otherwise you cannot use uh, those uh, uh, account, a uh, uh, private account for university software. This kind of uh, security is concerned about the input and the output is, is also any media that you're gonna like that. You saw from my screen now, it's just like a, we are use the screen like a still image. It's not video. I didn't present any video to you guys. I just use a simple screenshot from the PowerPoint or PDF. Um, and somehow, uh, if you see my record of the lectures, it's going to be the video record. It's the video output. So the result of the, uh, the the process of the computer, I think you, uh, okay, it's called computer processing. The generic, the generic of computers process. You always, I think you learn this like, uh, you have an input. Process something. You learn from CPE 100, I'm pretty sure. And then have output. Maybe I'll, output is gonna be the some print. Or input is gonna be like a, oh, I, I lead off for chat for a long time. For the input. And then you have process something. The same thing if you think about uh, this kind of technology is con computer processing technology. They have like, you need to think about the input, where the input come from, key in, take message, voice message, or biological uh, 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 input, and then how to process it. The process, uh, 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 the process here is mean how you program that one. So you learn from computer programming and the output. This is the, uh, the result of those process of computer processing. It's maybe the printout, it's maybe uh, video, it's maybe speed. Right. Like I'm teaching you guys now, you use the screen. I use a screenshot as I, the input is, I use the uh, Apple Pencil to write on my iPad. And this is the input. And I change the colors, the characteristic of the, uh, uh, the text. And at the end, you get the recording of the video as an output. And along the way, the communications between device, the communications, those communications, it might be like, for example, Wi-Fi, 
Bluetooth. Or even satellite, cellular, mobile network. Cellular or mobile network. Mobile network. And all in all, it's co finally compiles as your content of the product, content of the product. What kind of system? Is it maybe the website, maybe uh, the hardware, uh, the embedded system, or maybe what, kind, what data in the system? Is this a content? If you develop website, if you develop app is quite different. What is the content inside, inside the web, inside the apps, or even inside the hardware that you like in, to embed that system? Like the IoT system, or even you might uh, decide uh, robots, or even you decide the kiosks, Two game, whatever game, or we are we are room, or we game AR like uh, you play the Pokemon game. Is this a uh, is this a product that you develop or you think about? But all in all, for the product, you need to have the content inside the product. Otherwise, it's not things. Otherwise, it's not things. Okay, so to summarize, to summary, the pack. So you have the people in the middle. It's called user centric design. User centric or user centers. You try to get the requirement based on what kind of activities in the context. You observe people, you observe them based on their varieties of the characteristic. You observe them and then try to design activity based on what kind of activity they're gonna interact with, with, with your product. Because uh, uh, this is the, we try to design, uh, this is interaction design. Path analysis is part of interaction design. This is the big, the big camera of UX design. The big camera of UX design. And the user is mean the people, you must understand them based on people and then uh, the user's activity that gonna interact, gets hands-on with your product or gets dirty with your product, how that activity gonna be. So you, you translate on those activity into the requirement. You translate on those activity into the requirement. Like a checklist of the features. Checklist of the features of function based on the activity that gonna get involved to your product because now you, you're gonna develop your product. Huh? You have your aim that you're gonna develop something. I call it product. And after you know the checklist of uh, features, it's called that you know their requirement. 
and as long as you know their requirement, then you know which technology, what kind of tools you're going to develop. Is this a process of how? How you're going to develop it? Maybe you develop by user iOS uh, program with a uh, 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 C sharp for the windows or even uh, use the uh, Arduino for the hardware or use the Raspberry Pi for the embedded system and use the Lola protocol for the IoT system or whatever. But somehow this class, we're gonna focus on, on user interface that based on software, not hardware. But I try to, to let you uh, have the overview that the, the uh, those interaction design, the interaction design that I I mentioned, is part of uh, is the big umbrella of UX design, UX UI design, part of UX UI design. And uh, uh, even though we focus software, but the keyword of pack analysis is uh, very important. And at least when you know that uh, uh, how to develop, you got the opportunities. You got the opportunity to to de develop your product on market, and because is this a cycle process? And you say that the opportunity is mean that you see the pain point, you see the gap that you will develop the product on market. Commercial onto market to get opportunity for that. Most people use this style of uh, 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 methodologies. This is all the method that I told you. The same thing you're gonna use again and again in assignment of other class, not limit to my class, but also maybe CPE 100, maybe when you study circuit design, when you study database design for the futures, you're gonna use those kind, the, the mindset of a, a, a design process. The, this, uh, this design process is a method that you might adopt again and again in other class. And, uh, uh, that's all for the path. And then you can you can see for the reference, uh, references is interactive uh, design interactive system. And they think about people, activity, and content technologies that you can you can search more from David Benyon. They are very keen in, in interaction design. And uh, apart from that, uh, I'm gonna uh, use another slide to um, to let you get more understanding about the experience design based on PAC system. It's very simple one, it's not quite uh, detailed, but at least you see the overview of how you engage with the user because uh, this class is, uh, UX and UI, and both U is user. That is the reason that you could, we keep talking about the user. If you count the numbers of the, uh, the word user along the video or that you record, I keep talking about user, user, even user experience, user uh, culture, user framework, user idea, you whatever you got to focus on user. And one of the texts that I post to all you guys is basic of user experience design from the election design foundations. I will share the link of this group. They are very keen in user experience and you can learn from their, from their text. Uh, they focus on interaction designs, the same. Uh,
interaction design. So interaction design is part of uh, that I, I mentioned about the path. Interaction design is the big, big pictures of the path. And the most important is design thinking. Design thinking is a method that uh, the design thinking is the method or methodology or process that we use for interaction design is we call design thinking. The interaction design really focus on, and you can see this is psychologies or emotions or psychology or the feeling of the people, how people feel the feeling happy, sad, this is an interaction design in terms of the psychology aspect. But design thinking is the, as I ever mentioned again and again, is about the iterative. Iterative is repeat or iterative is repeat and empathy-based process. And what is empathy? Empathy is mean you put, you put your mind in other shoes, you, you see, you, you see what other people think. In order to see what other people think, you should be empathic. You, you, you might have the insight. You should see inside. You have the, you see their problem, their pain in their view, not in your view. See it in there. There is mean user. User view. User view point. Okay. And also the UX designer is really popular now today. You can see that a lot of tons of opportunity for, for a job. A lot of job opportunity. That's why I don't know put you at UI class in uh, uh, the curriculum. And you should not stop uh, explore yourself about uh, how, how to be the good designers, how to be the good user experience design. And uh, 10 years, same 2000s, uh, 2010 to 2013, a lot of company need the job of user experience designers. Previous day, maybe they need a programmer, but now not only programmer itself, but also they really need a user designers. Uh, user, user designer is both you, user experience, user interface. And uh, this book, this book as an ebook, I post already. It's an ebook that there are a lot of ebooks from those uh, interaction design foundation you can you can download by yourself after uh, uh, after the class. Okay, is this the the the, the text that I'm gonna teach based on this within I think uh, last last week I al already mentioned about uh, uh, design thinking already mentioned about the design thinking, but. Uh, in order to understand design thinking, the UX UI, uh, in the UX UI class, as I mentioned before midterm, I'm gonna focus only UX user experience, user experience. And the user experience is a very complex in some, somehow for the newcomers of this area, for the freshmen because you never have the experience in design software. Whatever I talking, whatever I explanations, uh, uh, whatever I did explain, you're gonna confuse because it's like abstract. So um, that's why uh, in the text, it's also said that the user experience is very complicated. It can be complicated for the newcomers. 
and most of people no user experience only about why framing why frame i talk only i did talk already why frame but it's not only why frame but it also a lot of issue that you need to understand about the the ux and ui but people most people know the the keyword why frame that I mentioned last time. And the, the, all those abstract idea, it's very complicated. So you need the perceptions, the, uh, uh, you need the perception of uh, at least have understanding in order to design your service or your product in order to design service or your product. And those are, those are all type of product that I ever mentioned, like uh, it might be the website, those white frame might be the website, might be the apps, or might be the uh, screen for the screen on on the appliance คือจอมันอุปกรณ์นะเหมือนอุปกรณ์ของข้าวตู้เย็นอะไรเงี้ยยูชูด you should think that was a, a experience evolved but in all in all if you think about the experience one experience by yourself if you ever walk into museum if you ever want to museum, all museum designers, because I'm actually I teach one of my classes called museum design, exhibition design, museum or exhibition. Or student who take my elective class, uh, 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 this elective course is uh, about the interaction design for museum exhibitions. All students who learn uh, my class, they're gonna under they must understand user experience because the uh, thing about you yourself walk through the museum or the exhibitions, what kind of experience you wanna wanna or you wish to make it happen, you see the board, you read from the board, you play games or you get information, you ask uh, 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 the staff of the museum, or even if you were young, you go to sci-fair. I'm pretty sure that you even go to the sci-fair. Sci-fair, Sapdavikiyasai. I am part of a developer of sci-fair for more 10 years. There's tons of kids play around. Not only the function itself you need to think about, not only functions that happen in each exhibition uh, uh, booth, exhibition or booth, but also the durable because our kids play around and the bottom may be just uh, out of orders easily or break out. So those kind of uh, um, issue may be easy to think about when you go to the museum, when you go to the museum. What experience you would like to get or uh, what kind of experience you ever, ever uh, learn from them. So you can see that the product or service that I mentioned when you decide it's not only uh, the website, the app, but also the software product. And in the past, in the past, when you think about design software product, most of the website, for example, is static. It's static. 
it means that you see, you see, it's a very passive, it's not interactive, but now it's very dynamic. You click and they have an image and they have a mobile text run around. Uh, they have the movement text run around, it's dynamic. Uh, when you talk about the website. But museum project is a, a, a for the museum is a good example because uh, inside the museum you have the screen you have the static board you have the game station you have the uh, 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 interactive floors so when you think about uh, uh, inter uh, interaction design in terms of user experience and think about yourself you should think about the museum design uh, uh, when you visit museum and. Uh, Those UX, UI, that I mentioned is uh, can be your, we focus on, on software product. In this class, we focus on software product. And in terms of uh, history of UX, UI, Maybe the a lot of designer already already done UX, uh, user experience design for a long time, but maybe we didn't name it user experience. If you talk to agency people, you talk to your friends who are maybe study at mass communication, if they do like a advertisement at a, a agency, if they work with them, they really need to to decide the advertisement. What they really need is to understand the user. Previous time or in the past, maybe we didn't name it the user experience design. Or even the uh, interior designer or product designer, they have the, the process that they design their product. But actually it's user experience design. Now that they reframe it, reframe those keywords the design, design survey. When we design, when we design also where the user requirement, we call that we, we we name it a new term like user experience design. So. The brief introductions of the user experience design, you might think about the human emotions or whatever the artifact or objects that people interact, the artifact is object. That those human, those human interact for everyone emotionally. And uh, the questions, as a user experience designer, you should think about whatever application website you should think about to give them like a value, to create the values for the uh, for your product for the user. It should be simple. I always talk about these keywords: easy to use, simple to navigate is easy. Simple to use, it should be easy. Whether it's easy when you find the website application or user really enjoy that, they have fun if you design games, they really have fun. So to be the user experience, good user experience designer, all those questions, if the user answer yes, it means that at least you prove yourself that you be a good user experience designer. So in terms of user experience, as I mentioned last time that how people feel when they use your product or service and because of people interact with the objects, how they associate the experience with your product or the service. And those relationship between user as a human 
and your product as a computer, whether it's a website or it's an application or the system, they should be easy, fun, and they have values. It's worth to, to play around, it's worth to use it. Okay. You can read it by yourself. It's simple and easy text. And uh, the most characteristic of designer, I, I mean, I use the short term UX UI designer, you should be the people who always investigate. Who always who always curious and investigate on user experience. In order for you guys to decide the good product for them. to create the product that fit them. Okay. Especially for you guys who really hate programming, I would say that a lot of people focus, a lot of your senior focus on front end design. Uh, front end design is a, a, you need to understand a user experience uh, concept. And why is it matters? Because your product on a success or failure is based on how you focus on uh, what and how you gonna focus on your user. Because if you develop some software, if you are developers, only programmer, maybe you finish programming, but at the end, you no one use it. No one use it. So it's some kind of like a project failure. So this concept of UX, UI, most of the UX UI designer are part of maybe in complex project or even in startup company, they might set up the dedicated team to develop the startup or even there are some project that they have my very low value project, but uh, you have a developer team to to save the financial or resource maybe you in order to save the result, you really need to understand your user. That that's why uh, they have a, a UX designers, UX designers inside the project, or even in the long term, long term project, maybe long years, like uh, um, new MacBook or. If you really a uh, fan club of apples, they are design a lot of cheap light from M1 to design a lot of uh, use, new user interface for, for the Mac, new MacBook or new iPad. So UX UI can be found in a lot of different project management. And the main, the main UX UI person, they really, focus on methodology that's called design thinking that is a user center design, user center design, user centric or human centric design, human centric design, which is design thinking. This is this type thinking that uh, 
at least you read this one to become a UX design from scratch. They have some 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 guideline from this uh, text that I already post, and all those people who are UX UI, they follow the rules or the step of design thinking, which I'm gonna talk more in detail and have some exercise next week. And that's all for today. And we meet again next week for the design thinking. But for, for, the, uh, for the lab, Pinin, P Punch, and P Bonas might talk to you shortly. Thank you for